starte wieder mm. mal die Aufnahme. Welcome back to Professor Place Wasteland 3. Last time we reached a mysterious cave. And let's hope we won't be disappointed. Okay, it is somehow provost. Eh? Maybe we're just walking in and then, it, then our, the, it's already... Uh, red items? Where? There. Or with a word from a great admiral, it's trap. Okay, the Kalash, the rafters. I'm in an RPG. Um, what the fuck? Ah, we are bringing the missing one. Ah, I see the all of Minerva. Do you think we will have a demon summoning or something too? <laughs> they will summon a scorpion. Uh, no, we will gain a perk and the provost is gone. Mysterious masks. Vidimus enim nunc per speculum in enigmata tantum modo reluctere ad referi tunc autem facie ad facie. Nunc cognosco ex parte tunc autem cognoscam sic et cogitus sum. Something I. and I think. So. I know some Latin, but I never had it properly in school. So somehow Mir Miro, we have Miro, a secret, something about thinking and knowing. Yeah. Uh, There's probably another mask. No, bones and the cigarettes, but so let's see how the perk. Ave Minerva Sapient. There, so Hail Minerva, the goddess of wisdom. Da mihi, that I know. Give me wisdom. At uh, clear speech. Da et mihi spes valida si amet. Uh, that I don't know. But basically, give me, give me wisdom. Yeah. By the way, da mihi crustulum is give me a cookie in Latin. <laughs> or close to lose, maybe. But one of these is give me a cookie. See, I learned something. So I we... think there's another. Uh, I think there's another thing we can dig out. If there's at least there's a circle around it, on the floor. This one. That's the one we dug out last time. Oh. Did everyone get this perk? I assume so. I hope so. I can. I mean, plus one perception. I think that is beneficial to some things, and it might help. But I would say uh, for all of that stuff, and we got the master gives perception. Ten. Wait, did it give perception ten? And we just discounted that. So we can. Whoa! What does perception actually do? No quirk. Um, is perception a derived mechanic? Is it somewhere here? Where do we actually see our perception value? Huh? That's the here. Because awareness gives perception, but what does perception do? But we can find it out. She has a base to hit chance of 123. If we give her the mask. Just testing. That didn't change anything except lowering her armor. So, but it might be, I, I assume with that mask, we will find things that were unavailable. So 
Now I would actually Run. know who has most perception so that I can decide who, who gets the most perception. So. But perception is tied to awareness. Do we have anyone that actually have awareness? It's anyways. It's her anyway. So. So let's say for for wider travel passages, she should have the mask because then we have so much awareness. Awareness. Somewhere here. Where are they? The can't send coordinates. It's not open. So, so basically, we the only thing we can do now in this on this map still is going to Aspen, which we know. And Aspen will basically unlock these eastern plains more because it turned radioactive. So in, after Aspen, we can get them. So, and just promised last time that we'll go back to base to do upgrading and stuff. So we have to go back to Colorado Springs. Question is if we should even go to Denver to the robots to buy if we can more yeah, we should. cyborg upgrades because we clearly have not learned from the last game you know some people would do a cut to after they bought cyborg upgrades so they don't upload a whole video of them driving through but then Everything. they would miss out our wisdom, so we can use that to talk about something. So we see, you know, Professor Blaze should be about uh, learning things here and there. So, and, huh. and can we, okay, we got an advantage over the giant frogs, but we have to find giant frogs. See, can we, can we deny that to our viewers, giant frogs? No, I think we can't deny giant frogs to everyone, to anyone. Ice frog. That's a lot of them, actually. What is this vague advantage we get now? Yeah? Please work, please work, please work. So let's loot the container during combat. Could we fuck off during combat? I don't know. Let's clear the one flank. I love it. Okay, so we need to... Ah, we could have thrown the, the Keltrops, okay. It's always exhilarating to... Oh, nice, to run over... Things. Yes, yes. So I think they are actually not even attacking us in melee, but what do I know? Let's just finish off one. I said let's just finish off one. <laughs> that has the range, I think. Used it not because it's good, but because we could. Actually, with this weapon, he can't do much anyways. Let's let's think about it next time.
flanking time and bush time yeah sure that's why we need crit resistance they are immune to each other's attacks. Yes. I know the encounters are scaled in that way, but still it feels interesting to do these things. Did she even fall? No, she had to stand up to await the uh, tons of metal and steel that ran over the enemies. Nice. Okay, we got a lot of luck thingies, but... Now is it only to execute our converted friend here? Wait, are, 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 is this monster that explodes? Maybe, but maybe. I think it was ambushing two or something, eh? To ambush the ambushers. Because we always expect an ambush. Uh, yeah, that this comes nice when you Yeah, that's because we orient ourselves on the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. Just my random question with the game would be now. And that's about game logic to discuss. So we leave the car to shoot at yeah. enemies, but in the end we overrun 80% of the enemies with the car. So why not just sit in the car and run over them and then leave and repair the car afterwards? Well, why not sit in the car and shoot from the car on the enemies while overrunning them? And while getting away. Yeah. Questions after questions. Yeah. So basically we check out the Ranger HQ. I guess we won't get new better shops before the before we get the next Aspen event. Aspen Bro, Jane. yeah. So let's What go will we what do you expect in Aspen? Uh, as I know it from the alpha, <laughs> I think I have a pretty clear. <laughs> we have a ski resort oh. full of enemies. You come to me. Well, sure. Anything new? Nothing new. But we got, we found stuff. So we have actually. All right, we got a new weapon. The magneto cannon. So we now have the railgun, which shoots once. And the Magneto Cannon is lame. Sorry to say, but yeah, it needs one AP less. But if we, if the maximum damage of one weapon is the minimum damage of another weapon that also has a supersonic blast, that is very nice to kill NPC, important NPCs over half the Wait. map. I would. Hmm? Did I miss anything else? I, I'm looking it up. And also, maybe we should change the ornament. Yeah, that we can do. So we have the impact vehicle plating, that's the important one. And the morning star. Oh, utility. Red shielding. Now we can go everywhere. 
And that's why we need the mornings. Where did we get that? I think it was dropped. Yeah, late game content we cover. Uh, which ornament do you want? Oh. We had the scorpion it. drone. Um. Hmm. What's that besides the head? Dragon ornament. When did we find the dragon ornament? I have no idea. Let's use the dragon ornament. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. That Magneto cannon is really useless. Or we found a better weapon before we found it. Yeah, but that can happen in RPGs. As we also discussed yeah. stuff like this for, for Cyberpunk, where there are situations where we have also do different builds, totally different experiences, and it should be like that if you do different pe uh, builds. I mean, if we, I, uh, if we would do the same build and get the same stuff out, then it would be really pointless, actually. I currently have the weirdest experience in my current build, where I just... where my combat account is, I usually mark every enemy and then shoot them with the power sniper for three walls oh yeah i see i admit i have never really figured out that stuff out. oh yeah yeah i mean either just try it <laughs> okay we could have him equipped uh... the barter thingy nope. yes yes she has oh Let me and we can actually, actually just dump the gold here. Yep. Our second eye laser. And combat speed plus one, we need that on our melee character, whatever she has right now. But. Uh, does it also require cyber yes. cyborgification? Yes. yes, it okay. does. Okay. Then we ha will have to have at least three cyborgs. Yeah, you, she's, you see she has... I mean, the explosion resistance is not... Yeah, we know. How could that go ever wrong in this game? Also, we need to replace our clone. Hey, Rangers. Yeah. It's good to see you again. Oh, what can... Yes, go ahead. Ah, uh, yeah, we just opened it. Okay. If I don't click, there's no noise. Cool. We got a female clone again. Yeah, I think it's alternating. It could be. Alternating. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Do we want to get healed and lose the flash pockets? Yeah, that's the. But eventually it will happen, man. What do you need, Rangers? And I, that's what I dislike, that you can't somehow pick or lock it, or, or stu uh, to be honest, stuff that is actually beneficial. And nobody asks us if we want to keep it or not, everything. basically. Okay, so just to co make sure there's no new armor at this guy. At this guy, I mean. Felicitations, Rangers. How can I be of assistance? Of course, Rangers. It would be impolite. Oh, that's also share. something nope. I say they Tremendous could maybe resp uh, but then you could game a bit of things. But you see Maybe we want to uh try out some skins we found. If you want, you can do that. I'm just checking if Gonzalez or something. I know it's a tight fit with the refugees, but there's always enough room to do the right thing. Anytime. Oh, okay. But yeah, I like it that more people run around here and lots of privates. I mean, there should probably be a commanding officer, a part of the team, <laughs> such and And Scotch Moe is here. No, so. I mean, we can look if we have any new achievements. So this one. Hey, we need a fourth for Pinochle. You play? Me? Yeah, I'm Pinochle. Do you really want to play with me? Uh. So that stuff we unlock. Oh. And we won't see it and under. Uh... 
Better can't do that. Yeah, so. Maverick is cut out of right? Oh, come on. It's sometimes a bit clunky, I have to admit. Actually, as we were discussing Cyberpunk. Hot take. Wasteland 3 has one point less on Metacritic than Cyberpunk. Justified no, or not? The problem is, I think that the public really lost their opinion on what makes a good RPG. And somehow is the opinion that any good open world game is automatically a good RPG. Uh, this is why Skyrim and Fallout still are considered yeah. to be good RPGs. No, no actually, actually, my angle was Cyberpunk with all this big production fancy stuff has one point more than Wasteland. That was actually my the discussion point. So you would say, oh. so you would actually say it's not comparable because you wouldn't count the one as an RPG actually that much and because I mean this is old school RPG, no questions. While Cyberpunk yeah. is one of these, is actually arguably, apart from a few mechanic things, is basically, I mean, Assass it's Assassin's Creed is is as much an RPG as Fallout at this point. Or it's an very action. Closely, yeah. It's an action game with RPG mechanics, because the I best definition is still, you don't yeah. create your an, an own character in. Uh, yeah. Cyberpunk, you play as Wii. Yeah, that's... even if you can customize Wii, yes. you're still not making your own character. Yeah, but in the sense of the world, you're playing a role. But that's uh, that regard, Super Mario is an RPG because you play a role. Yeah. Still, uh, I think it was kind of obvious that something like this would happen because Cyberpunk was the opposite of too big to fail too big to succeed yes and that's always the pr trouble with the g hyped game and i think in wasteland 3 everyone expected an, an RP uh, just an rpg you know like wasteland 2 where people said oh well it didn't turn out great at first i think maybe at some point now nah, to be kidding i don't have the time to play the game in director's cut to be honest uh so yeah, but no, not again. Shall we try to escape? Yeah. Or, or, or just offend them? Oh, God damn it! At least they. No, do they drop more interesting stuff? So yeah, that's the. I think we could still upgrade survival, at least for traveling. Yeah. Mm. The yeah, great. But ah, hey, if they come closer, we can just yes, come closer, <laughs> my pretty chunks of XP. <laughs> no, and they're still not good enough to actually hit you. Yeah. Actually, now you could say this. I mean, you know, I was mostly happy about Cyberpunk for getting a cyberpunk game oh the play yeah mechanics it's amazing started, yeah and, and, and i love cyberpunk and there is not that much cyberpunk around since always and but yeah it actually makes me yeah i want rpgs and at some point i would just stop caring about all these open world games that call themselves rpgs just because they follow rpg series or or something Oh, that's so also, cool. I I have a quite a similar opinion. I think Cyberpunk's uh, for on the actual RPG perspective, which hey, I don't what? really can you say it. No, on the game game aspect, not on the uh, RPG aspect. On the game aspect, I had way much more fun with even the most stupid of side quests in cyberpunk when I had in the main quests or 
any quest in Skyrim or Fallout 4. Yeah. And that's because why. Because. Yeah. And that, that's, that's why I, I, I think Cyberpunk is actually a great game. Because the quests are fun, the characters mm -hmm. have personality and are characters. Yes, I mean, you have a limited amount of them, but that's okay. Because, as I said, the big trouble is you have these games that are so big that you have forgotten your best friend from the first first start, part of the game uh, until the end because you've got another 20 best friends. Like, you know, in Fallout 4, where you could chain a string on romance as an NPC, it would never basically look it again on the, on the ones from the start. Because no, nothing would happen. But actually, I have to address Cyberpunk in that regard too. I think at least one companion story uh, where basically you finish it, the companion leaves the city, you go to the apartment and it's still standing, not companion, but important NPC, you go to the apartment, still standing there. I think that might have been just an oversight. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's the immersion breaking box. Yeah. Um, uh, but... To, to be to be honest, I'm kind of not bothered by the, those bugs anymore because I kind of expect them in big games like this. Yeah, I, as I said, everyone who expected this game to work now has never ever played RPGs before. I mean, if you consider it from the RPG view, they are very complex things with lots of things to break down or, or stuff that can go wrong. So, and at some point they rather release it, you play it, and at some point it's fixed, then no. you could you could discuss if it was justified to release it now or whatever. They made a lot of money with it anyways. And oh, at least you oh, can have always... You... Hmm? Yeah, following on that, had, have you seen the video of one of the uh, executive staff members? No, I haven't. He, he's just making a big excuse and saying that he's really sorry for what happened to cyberpunk and that's all fault of the executive staff and they work yeah. overtime to I fix would say everything it's the responsibility of the of this yeah of the ex executive director stuff you can't then discuss how much it is their fault to i just say of course it is their responsibility but fault is a bit more tricky because they have to take decisions of that doesn't mean that some of them are yeah. not really sucky but they are the ones that have to decide on it and you have to the problem is a lot of people don't, don't know is you have to make a decision you aren't you yeah aren't always in a position that you can take yes. the time yeah. that you make uh, an informed decision because you don't know the stuff before yeah yeah and, the, the, and no decision is the worst decision of them all yes and i mean and you often saw it, a great example for the state of bugginess and the game that is still great and you can still argue about how much of rpg mechanics were the end in there but i think still a lot but uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. The developers yeah. were at the point where it was you release it now or you will not release the game. And of course, then you release the game because the alternative is not a better game but no game. And pe yeah. fans are still patching it. Hello, Dr. Vivi Sector. Cybernetic upgrades. I cannot conduct the operation myself. Yes. Instead, I want moment. Constructing a device of this nature is production complete. Yeah, but you still, you have this, everything you actually want from uh, a RPG like this in the base system. version of Bloodlines. Yeah. The characters are interesting, yeah, and the characters are intriguing, yeah. and the dialogue it's is great. gold. Yes, and in that case, like what you said, you make your own character and depending on the clan and stuff and fix, it doesn't matter. So you don't have the same character that acts differently, but really possibility, but yeah. you, you have a character that is forced on his background to act differently. So we bought, bought not, should we make everyone into a cyborg? Or? No. Okay. 
Ja, that is a bad idea. Cons Actually, that's the stuff that told, tells me that there won't be a Koshai's AI coming back in this game because we can't do that. The device will do the rest. Where is the cyborg upgrade? The question is now whom to upgrade. I mean, we can look, wait, which we can look at the stuff. We, alre the we already said that we need to upgrade Hornet for the adrenaline boost. And That's I right. think yes. that also Quan was, that was a candidate. Not, that was not the inventory, Tim. He was selling up. Okay, well, he is healing us for free. So let's try it again. Cat, can you please not laugh the microphone? The listeners will not like the vibration sounds. Thanks, Cat. We have still a lot of money left. We haven't still have an eye You know what is better than two eye lasers? Three eye lasers, but still look at the other options. Yes, I will after buying the eye laser. Downtime and crit resistance. We will just take it. Because we have yeah. some people. Yeah. You know. And cerebral modem, um, stunning uh, synth people, and nerd stuff plus one, which we now have left. Uh, you know what? We will just take everything. And then. So, but first of all, we want to have Hornet turned into a cyborg. now these things were here because we need here. the adrenal enhancer to make her fast as lightning go so, fast so we now have four more actually we, i think we can build cyber guys everyone <laughs> just saying we have now two more we have in cyber terms we have two eye lasers the modem and the Downtime and crit resistance, which would be probably excellent and one of these two boons. Uh, uh, so, so Lucia becomes a cyborg too, I have decided. Yeah. And just for trading, we need to start that. <laughs> Feel no pain. Oh god, crit resistance is so amazing. So actually, we should. Do we get maybe points refunded? So I think having our tech guy become a cyborg is just. Obvious. Oh, uh, did I ever t tell you how I enjoyed that in. Actually, the other two is. XCOM. XCOM 2. You know, there are the weapon upgrades that give you an instant kill chance. And no one is safe from this instant kill chance. And I find this is com so amazing. Oh, yeah, that is. That can have interesting results. And actually, I would say RPGs are there to be, to be broken and misbalanced and to have utterly lame things. So, yes, you might find something that just kills the game uh, or that kills the difficulty but that was that has happened in this up in RPG since complete. since forever in XCOM it doesn't don't forget you yeah, can't your soldiers XCOM, can be one shot too yes yes I know we are in, in XCOM but I was now think I was now thinking yeah. still for that it also applies for the RPGs because especially if you think of you see here, critical chance plus three, if you can have an eye laser. Eye lasers. Okay, cyborg squad. No, uh... Cyber squad. Oh, uh, I don't think that the... Uh, that this will actually cause any problems for us, because the... We're kind of under the protection of the eye that roams the airport. Kind or of the button. AI conglomerate. Yeah. conglomerate. I mean, I would say these are now the counterpoints to the last game that you say, yeah, we, we can inter interact or something. So. Yeah, but yeah, so uh, I think what I was leading on to before, I would say, I, I at some point I might just stop caring about all these open world games that pretend to be RPGs or that are really both an RPG and an open world game gra uh, grafted together. 
and, and I know if I play them, I then turn dip it too much into the stuff, at least in Cyberpunk, I'm not motivated to just roam around. If there's a quest somewhere, uh, that's something else, but I'm not, yeah. you know, trawling it street by street, this like. Is, this is why I don't, do, do not understand why people are so f f infuriated by, I think what was promised and did not happen. I think that the, the AI NPC, uh, that the roaming around NPCs are bad. I don't even notice because I'm 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 playing an RPG and not an open world game. I don't care if the guy that uh, I that the random NPC that is spawned in has a daily rhythm. I never see him again. Yeah, you know, uh, but I noticed at some point there was a bit immersion breaking. If you have a queue of characters and you have basically the same exactly same character model three times in a row standing up or something. In a game with that has yeah. this kind of detailed characters, but these are actually details, and these are actually not about the RPG stuff. So you know, actually, we now can go, we now can go here officially. Yeah. yeah. And so we don't have to go to Asp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This uh, next episode. So. Yeah. Yeah, but on the other hand, if you're just wanting to make uh, free people and have them tell the stories, there are games that are actually more focused on that. Things like uh, RimWorld. Yeah. Actually, I think that a uh, RimWorld playthrough on Professor Place would be fun. Uh, no? I don't know. That's not the kind of stuff I really think about playing. Let's put it like I, that. I know. But, but it, you know. It's... It's I have said, I have said about many things. No, I don't know. They won't happen, and then sooner or later it happens. It, but it's just uh, remote's very enjoyable because it's actually more people simulation nation with aspects. Ooh, aspects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has a futuristic aspect because you're in space. It has the a lot of raiding. You can commit war crimes. Not again. Not again war crimes. No, not again frogs. Oh. Sorry, that was misleading. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. Can we just get into the fighting? These are different frogs. And they also all want to die getting run over. You know, maybe I should uh, start making a roadkill counter. Holy hell, the parrot is really doing damage, but they have many. Yeah, I, I told you we can't leave out the parrot. And I think you can over on these. And the last three. Maybe I should have started somewhere over there, huh? but I wasn't yeah. sure if I can manage to overrun this and all of them. And I think you could have used the cultural launch again. Ah, you know, that's nearly. I mean, at some point, I will basically. I'm pretty sure we'll stop playing games that are really that are mostly open world. Let's see, especially how the Fallout franchise will develop in that regard. Also, I laser. Yeah. I mean, the sad thing is that the open world in Bethesda games, it's 
Yeah, it's also not a nice word. The sad, sad thing is, I know why, why they tried Fallout 76 because they had the, the engine oh, lying around and thought it was cheap, it was easy money mostly. Yeah, but also I was. The actual reason I was kind of excited for Fallout 76 was I knew that Bethesda games tend to have a really great non-character surrounding where you would find so many things, uh, a lot of things that are small stories and in them. And then they had no hum then they had no alive people until now or something. Also, no, no alive humans willing to talk to you outside, if I'm correct. Yeah. Uh, oh god, Polly, yes. Yeah, but I was actually talking about something like... Uh, you, you just find an uh, empty cave filled with ghouls and you find a lot of things... Uh, Things are placed in a way that were pla placed with in conjunction with the story that was told in journal entries or lying beside it. This was really great and a strong point. And I think I and a lot of other people expected Fallout, Fallout 76 to be a lot of this. Yeah. Yeah, if it is least storytelling, but. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now I now what it, uh, it's actually what I wanted to say. Uh, this is uh, this here. where we drove by is I think the ranch where the la last three people are. We need to find for that the head of the quest. That can't spawn now because spawn now because the goats have decided so. Okay. Yeah. And. Environmental world, uh, uh, yeah, environmental storytelling. This is something that a lot of Bethesda games were good at, but I think it's because they had a few designers that were actually willing and good at committing towards this. Yeah, and sometimes if the people leave to do these things, then like, you know, when Blizzard fell, basically fell as a company, also yeah. had a lot with it to do that a lot of the people that that made the stuff that we thought was awesome were not there anymore. So it was, yeah, the company was the same, but that's something I mean, you could also just buy a company name and that's it. It's, it doesn't but make. But like, I'm just thinking about, uh, I think I have a different company in mind that actually managed to pull something like this off where they, uh, changed a lot of the staff but it still did not have a still kind of keep the games at an equal quality you know sometimes it depends on who leaves you know you can sometimes let's say replace i would say that i wouldn't say food soldiers but some you know the you know you can replace programmers for some task or whatever but if the people that are that are doing the game design and have the ideas yeah. leave. You also see that the music somehow a band is, oh yeah, the guitar player left, whatever. Yeah, the guitar player was the songwriter. Now the band lost the songwriting. Uh, or maybe whatever happens afterwards. Yeah. Sorry, whatever, animal. Yeah, but it's this animal's own fault. It wasn't seeable for me, at least. Yeah, don't hide in radioactive clouds if you don't want to be. Actually, you could argue that most of this map is already superfluous. We're driving around and through nothing, basically. There's a car, uh, catch. Yeah, cash. Cash, yeah. But this oh. here, this is not like exploring the map for 10,000 hours and it is like RPGs were in earlier times. You could at least sell it as being traditionalist. Yeah, okay. But with with these open world games, I think I would have a, an RPG. I don't know, have you played uh, Torment Tides of Numenera? But also try to emulate classical thingies where you would no. also basically 
most of the game you would continue to other places that you could go back to anymore. Oh, oh. Do you think this is a level appropriate encounter for us? No. Especially since you can't hey, run it over anymore. Hey, Leroy Jenkins. Radar turns into static keys. Something is interfering with the signal. Source of the interference might be the huge stuff. Overload the scope between sensors and then attack. Yeah. Noise from the Kodiak. Let's hope it's only a scope and not 10 killers. Because as we all know in RPGs, one enemy you can easily overwhelm. It's the swarms that are the problem. Actually, so, I've... Uh, no, of course there one, must be. Yeah. I've just counted four killers, so... But you haven't seen the whole map. It's one, two, three, four. Two down there, it's six. Four killers and... Six. But the Scorpitron only has 3000 HP, so what, what could go wrong? Um, another go good game that I found in the immediate as in the past i actually played through the beat the which is still not finished although it got its release i mean it's just the end game missing the current end game is just leveling uh is deep rock galactic where you play dwarfs in space yeah you're mining just as dwarfs in space oh come on we're not sure that's a good opening yeah. Sorry, kid. And so let's see what the coder can do here. So you can ah, you can overrun the killers. Yes. Honestly, I think From overrunning three to four killers is better than whatever we can shoot this turn. Yeah. At least this turn you can overrun three. And I think you can kill the thingy. No, you okay. can. But we can save this. And but you can't even launch yeah. the call. But trips. we actually now we should. So basically, yeah, we can. We can do some stuff. He can shoot with his boat on the killer. Same goes for the. Yeah. Wait. The important Maybe thing to is. Maybe to the allies the first. The important thing is that Codex is now spamming turrets. <laughs> Yeah, that might be important. To be honest, we need meat sheets. Yeah, and eye laser. Etc. I'm Senseo, eye laser. So I don't have to range, damn it. Let's see if we have to range with this. I think that's a good backup plan. That's a good start. She has to take cover behind the Kodiak. Mm, I'm not or entirely convinced by anything here. So the question is, Star could go and hack. Do we think we manage oh, oh. to hack anything? No, not here. Hmm? I think you can... Hack at least one killer. I think we're not close enough. We will now surely. Yeah. yeah, if you're not near enough, it's not. Okay. Yay! Run to the hills. And now. And now we wait. Got the cover, so someone will have to. And I'm currently in. Uh, uh, anyway, I was talking about Deep Rock Galactic, which reminded me on. Maverick is really a master in sliding. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not in I would say we keep the eye lasers also for the Scorpion. Yeah. Uh, okay. About environmental storytelling, because I don't think that the developers didn't. <laughs> Did not include any environmental storytelling until now. Besides small things like you can gather uh, things from 
lost mining parties. Nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, shoot that one. Turret. Shoot that one. Oh, I know what Codex is doing. Holy hell! I Now comes the second attack. And the third. Thank you, Scorpitron. We always knew that you were on our side. I think the big problem is that he was so stupid Can't and shot down. that one. The turret. Yeah. So running over this killer is a bit... Wait. Uh, you can run ab over both no, killers. No, what we... But what we need to do before, because it might... Hey, come Maybe on! Don't be so stupid, AI! Actually, I, Yay, will, spare, I will spare a shot here. So that Codex can still shoot his gun on the Scorpitron. He still has 10 AP left! Oh my god! Sonic Boom! Nice! Yeah, we, I think we saved... We saved the AP. Yeah. I think you need to get rid of this last slicer. Do you think that this really did be buffing it in a significant way? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we could uh, look if it did anything significantly. Oh, come on. Now it misses. No, wait, it did some damage to something. And we can still precision strike it. Uh, I think uh was... tail. Whatever that was, we did something to something. So my something is happy about having something. Oh! And you kind of... You just hacked it with a... No. You just hacked it with an EMP grenade! Yes, I indeed did so. Crash. Um. Minus 100 AP. Whoa. Just, just a hack with the sword on the Scorpitron. Leroy <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> mm. You know, if it hadn't resisted the strike, it would have been more awesome. Where's the free attack? Ah, the normal attack doesn't count. Ah, the special attack doesn't count. Good to know. So I'm afraid we need to get a bit, bit closer here. Okay, but now we are at least in the target oversaturation market here, so... Crippled. Good. No, resist creeper, technically. Um, Damn it. Uh, maybe drop another turret. Oh, okay, out of range. Now we need to get closer. Okay. Maybe don't stack, he still has a flamethrower. You know that flamethrowers are easily to evade. <laughs> yeah, next round the Scorpion run will be toast. Be thrown. Uh, did it just shoot in a yeah. straight line through half of my team? Yes. Uh, where's the bird? Up there. Oh, I thought for a moment the turret would just... This turret is stupid! Just saying. Ready 
Now we can shoot twice! We could have done that anyways. But I mean, if you consider that our Kodiak is actually... Uh, has probably nearly the same mass than the... Scopitron has. And now we kill it with the sword. I think we need to... Do a bit more... Nah, just try it. You're in a... Uh... Don't forget you have uh, all a uh, 13 AP and two additional strikes, two free strikes. Yeah, but you know, we won. Also, it saves the energy ammo. Yeah, but I think I'm not sure if we can really kill it. Right now. But yeah, let's. Was that the additional attack from last turn? Maybe. And you got the AP for one back. Now heal her. You really need some magic. Yeah. <laughs> you still disabled the other one. That's good, anyways. Get this out of range. Oh, come on. Oh, he needs healing too. He's not burning, so... Yeah, you're right. But yeah, but it might be some weird signs. Shit, why... They can't do that. So this episode is now clocking at nearly an hour. Great. Yeah. But now I think we can... Just do it till Espen... Or just empty turn. Do I have the goon squad? <laughs> Bash. <laughs> this surrender <laughs> a million points of damage. Great. Uh, what? Nobody got went, went down in this fight? Isn't that... Yeah. Damn it. Uh, you know why it didn't give me the... Uh, now we can see what is new. Photon cannon, level 19 rocket, a weird science rocket. It's another one. Is it better than a Mesa um, launcher? The problem is we have no one really to... It uses rockets. So yeah, it does more damage, but it uses rockets. Damn it. And that was the only special. So there might be fights where we would use it. Here, um, no. Okay. Yeah, sniper. Okay. And stuff. So blade. Don't yeah, forget thanks, that. game. Give me that. Is, that might be nothing. There's also one uh, up there. A little bit lower. I, fo I thought so that I saw one on the right side. Ah, there's just more... ...more of loot here, but yeah. Yeah, anyways, but I'm still... So, yeah, so... Yeah, but is and isn't RPG is in general a very tricky topic, because as you say, what... Basically, up today I would say it's between some open world or originally more... A maybe even skill games it's more or less marketing if you they could sell assassin's creed with that actually as, as rpgs as well if you consider that i mean i started call we started calling call of duty an rpg because they in the last few yeah. developed cases you had skill options yeah i would say and that's what i would say just having mechanisms that that's all of these domes look cool and why are they here and why don't we know anything why the domes because, and cactus because, and snow huh? or is that still snow yes because the game will tell us that could be you mean we're here totally too early then why does the yeah you yeah. know let's not discuss that so we will now drive to Esp and then 
Yep. So that was all in the southern dunes. That you see, that is basically too much driving around for nothing to happen. Because basically we have now seen the whole world. And I told you, down there there's just a loot, a loot crate that we could pick up or not, whatever. So I would say just having some mechanics that were pioneered by RPGs. Don't make game RPGs, but then what does? Because yeah, you, you play roles in many games, you... Uh, yeah, creating, you, uh, I yeah. think it's uh, one of the best definitions I've always heard is the good start with you play as a character of your own making. So that might help, but I, I mean, in my personal definition, uh, definition when I talk about RPGs, about really pure RPGs, not about something that is decided yeah. an action RPG or like be Diablo or something that use RPG mechanics. In my personal definition, if I need to use, ah, oh, we have a sound glitch, cool. Yeah. If I need to use skill, I, 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 let's say, uh, re, let's say dexterity and reactions to win the game or to make it massively more easy or whatever, then for me, it's already not an RPG or not a, uh, core RPG because if that's why I for example I tried out once when, when I tried this Microsoft Game Pass during this trial period stuff last year I tried um, Final Fantasy 15 and I loved the early Final Fantasy titles but then the game started with a tutorial where it taught me to block hits and in my opinion, at that point, at that time, it can go screw itself and I will just uninstall it. I, I think it's from... As, because I don't want to block and parry and use skill in my fucking RPG. I think, let's say, standing somewhere and shooting is appearing slightly better. I know it's still basically... The same stuff. Ooh, we leveled up at some point. Oh, Probably from the XP from yeah. the Scorpitron. That could be, yeah. We will enter the stage. Oh, Aspen might be bigger. So maybe it has, uh, let's say for the beta, we would enter Aspen and start killing things. That was actually the one fight in the Alpha, sorry, beta, in the Alpha where you would use the Kodiak. This. And this is new, uh, I think. I think. Are you ready? A cat? What was that? Giving up hope, blah blah. My guards in the tent, blah blah. The Patriarch's crazy ass son is holding me and my team captive. He's making me listen to radio frequencies for trouble. Watching ranger frequencies too. You need to come get us. But be careful. How did you survive? We got lucky. I guess. The attack broke up the ice, forced us onto the shore. We couldn't help, we couldn't retreat. One thing we could do is drive back towards Aspen. I hope they had a working radio. Guess that part worked out at least. Are you injured? Hell yeah. Yeah. We don't have much time here. Copy that with kinds of treats. It's, it's bad up here. Worse than you can imagine. I hope not. Rick and his people are insane. Remember that. Understand that. If they butcher people or burn them alive, laugh about it. And I'm not exaggerating when I call his people insane. Breathers, we call them. Constantly breathing crazy gases from their tanks. They're crazy. And we have enough clouds in these games. Nearly everyone up here will kill you on sight. So take it slow. Keep an eye out for supplies you can use. Helps on the way properly. You but you know, yeah, that is clearly the stuff we had. Fuma. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, Crazer. we had, uh, and I know where you have the. 
where I have the bandits and f so you know Fallout is full of random bandits that we could never sustain be sustained anywhere and Wasteland just has insane gangs that, that are clearly insane um, yeah that are getting resources from I don't know where yeah but I know that's a b suspense whatever stuff so yeah we will you can imagine what will I do. I will shoot a rocket in there and then we will take our Kodiak. No, we won't do that. No. And then crash into it. And it, it should be a quiet. Ah, there must be a st stage transition or something. Because as, as I said, I think I remember a lot about that. But they will surely have changed it just to add something new for us. And because the game changed since then. Yeah, I know, putting the bridge down, whatever. But that's now not for this episode that went on way too long. If you managed it this far, congratulations. You surely got XP for that. See you next time on Professor Plays Wasteland 3. Does this thing. 